Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you see, first of all, see this video. If other men can still see your girlfriend naked, then less jealous of you. Yeah. What would you describe as being a top 1% female? If she is the most beautiful girl in the world, but she is available and accessible to lots, lots of men, and she's disloyal to you, there, it, there, she loses her value mm -hmm. because she makes you look like an idiot and she makes herself look accessible. So without that loyalty factor, and loyalty doesn't just mean she's not sleeping with other men, loyalty also means she's not exposing herself to other men. Mm -hmm. Because before, you'd have to work to see a girl naked, really, really have to work for it. If she's allowing access to the rest of the society to see that, I do think it takes away her, her, her mystery. One percent woman would have to make her man look like somebody that other men are jealous of. You see this video? How many of our celebrities of today, all those who they call celebrity, uh, get new recording, uh, <laughs> you got to take recording, a jejibrity or something like that. How many of them can speak like this in the public concerning mannerism, concerning good conduct concerning a good sense of dressing how many of our female celebrities especially go fit talk like this as waiting this girl talk so now you know the reason why i'm doing this video is because many are times we they imitate the west we they imitate Oibo, but the Oibo way we they imitate waiting the no concerning life he pass our own our own follow follow we they do as we just see we'll follow as we just see, we'll follow. As we just see, we'll follow. A lot of things we they practice today, we do not even know the origin of it. We don't know how it is start. We don't know why they do it like that. We don't know why they only do it like that. For example, you see a lot of our uh, celebrities, the male celebrities, where they wear a ring for one year or two years, pull for nose, pull for eye. A lot of them don't even know the significance of those things. Then we'll see our female celebrities where they dress almost naked or half naked or I don't know what to say. Trying to imitate the Ibo, but see what in this person talk now. How many of our celebrities can speak like this in public? Talk about mannerism, talk about a, a kind of person that have a future. All our young celebrities, all of them, from A to Z, all of them now in this sense be the, the other of the day, because that is the trend. Now, what is the rain? You know, if you never wear rubbish, people know when they say you're a celebrity. If you never talk rubbish, come out from my people, not going to say be celebrity. And at the end of the day, they will say they are influencers. At the end of the day, they will say they are role models. What do you represent? What do you stand for? That is the question. See, now, now, you know, fellow, now, now, talk this kind of thing. So, anyway, time shall tell. We are watching. Time shall tell because the reality is this the reason why we can see Nigeria the way it is now is because of how our influencers they do certain things they are influencing our society negatively yeah the reason why i'm doing this video is this because many are times we they imitate the west we they imitate to Ibo, but the Ibo way we they imitate waiting the no concerning life it pass our own our own uh, follow follow we they do as we just see we'll follow as we just see we'll follow as we just see we'll follow a lot of things what they practice today, we do not even know the origin of it. We don't know how it is start. We don't know why they do it like that. We don't know why they only do it like that. For example, you see a lot of our uh, celebrities, the male celebrities, where they wear a ring for one year or two year, pull for nose, pull for eye. A lot of them don't even know the significance of those things. Then we'll see our female celebrities where they dress almost naked or half naked or I don't know what to say. Trying to imitate the Ibo, but see what in this person talk now. How many of our celebrities can speak like this in public? Talk about mannerism, talk about a, a kind of person that have a future. All our young celebrities, all of them from A to Z, all of them now in this sense be the, be the other of the day because that is the trend. Now, what is the rain? You know, if you never wear rubbish, people know when they say you're a celebrity. If you never talk rubbish, come out from my people, no one will say be celebrity. And at the end of the day, they will say they are influencers. At the end of the day, they will say they are role models. What do you represent? What do you stand for? That is the question. See, now, now, you know, fellow, now, now, talk this kind of thing. So, anyway, time shall tell. We are watching. Time shall tell because the reality is this. The reason why we can see Nigeria the way it is now is because of how our influencers 
still they do certain things. They are influencing our society negatively. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you see, first of all, see this video. You see this video? How many of our celebrities of today, all those who they call celebrity, uh, get the new recording, uh, <laughs> you got to take the recording, uh, jejibrity or something like that. How many of them can speak like this in the public concerning mannerism, concerning good conduct, concerning a good sense of dressing? How many of our female celebrities, especially, go feed talk like this as waiting this girl talks to? Now, you know the reason why I'm doing this video is because many at times, when they imitate the West, when they imitate Oyibo, 